Today I have a slightly different uh, speed paint than usual because, um, well, I extensively offer commissions uh, all the time. It's kind of on an as-is basis just because I'm never sure like what exactly, like how do I price this stuff online? Like what do I do available? Like do I do it digital? Do I send a, you know, do I send a file? Do I send a physical thing? And so like I've, but at conventions, I tend to, well, well it, it's still the, you know, on an as-is basis pretty much like, you want to do a sketchbook? Sure. You want a different thing? We can talk it out and I'll do that. Um, but anyways, at conventions, I tend to do a small watercolor commission. So I have like my example and then pricing and an estimated time range because I know I can get, you know, I know I can get those done in a time where, you know, just come, you know, either stay and talk while I work on it or come back in an hour or so and it'll be done. Except this drawing time is kind of annoying. So I wanted to, wanted to to try a slightly different, you know, faster style. It doesn't include me having to go get water, have a cup of water on my table next to all this paper stuff. Because it seems like a bad idea. Because my table's just getting more and more crowded. And it's like, okay, no open containers of liquid. That's a bad idea. So I figured that I would try a uh, little sort of like monochrome Copic 6x4s and so that's what today's video is. Today's video is me testing out new commission stuff which I feel like I could have just started with that and not rambled as much but oh well but yeah so that is again what today's video is it's just testing out commission style, so I'm doing two pieces today. Got the first one, which is what I'm working on now. And both of them just kind of started out as just sketches and what I felt like drawing at the time. So we have random chick with a baseball bat with nails in it, because those are fun. Um, and the reason that I'm testing out my new commission style is that, again, I don't actually offer it like online, it's just what I have for conventions is because I have two conventions coming up next month and in November. I'm going to be at Free State Comic Con in October on the 21st and then I'm going to be at KCCC, uh, Kansas City Comic Con in November the 10th through 12th and links to stuff for those below and honestly for the past year two years it's been a real I've, I've had a real issue trying to get stuff ready and get prepared for stuff so I'd, you know, I'd be like so what would happen is I'd be like, oh, hey, this thing's coming up in a few months, or in a month or two, and I would make my little list of things that I wanted to get done, and be like, I can get these done in this time period. Except what would happen is, because I could barely get myself out of bed or brush, like, do basic things like brushing my hair and eating, just did not have the motivation, because that's how depression works. I would wouldn't really have a chance to start working on stuff until, you know, you know, like I'd work on some stuff, but like something that should have taken me a day would end up taking a week. So I would get like maybe a quarter of what I wanted to get done for them actually completed. And then it would get to be about maybe a week before my proof order deadline or, um, you know, so I could which is about two weeks before the actual event, so I can actually, you know, make sure things work and, like, don't print horribly wrong and actually fix them as opposed to ending up with, well, a pile of prints and such that I can't use. Um, so I would just get, well, really horribly stressed from that and 
just the cycle would continue and I would avoid stressing so I wouldn't get anything done and I would just get you know like two or three things done as opposed to this list of things that I should have been able to get done but I take pills for that now and antidepressants are fantastic and I will fight anyone who disagrees with me on that like no medications really useful if you need it and you do it right and any anyways I have very strong opinions on that that I'm not going to get into because that's only slightly relevant to this so again because I can actually like work on things in a timely manner now and you know get things done and less well at least somewhat less random irrational worry about things I have been you know planning for both of those and also because the if I want to get proofs for stuff for KCCC, I need them to get have all that done about three days after Free State. So like, if I don't have it done before Free State, it's not getting done for KCCC. And like, I'm going, we're going to be going to Japan Fest, to hang out with some friends. In um, cred, what was the, what's the date for Japan Fest? I guess it's the seventh. Yeah on the 7th of October, so that's going to cut into some prep time. So I've been working on stuff for Free State and I wanted to update my commission stuff. So again, testing. Also an excuse to get a few more markers, because I didn't have a pale one. I actually did a few more after this video. I did a green one, which is you know, has the color test for that, but I decided that the blues worked better for my second sketch and a purple one. It was really good because I was an excuse to get a light purple because I've only had a medium and a darker sh color before. and I love purple. <laughs> yeah, this is kind of a mess of a video. I might just, I might re-record this audio. I'm not sure. But yeah, this was just, I think I like this style and I'm going to end up using it. Um, <laughs> except that that I could not get it to scan the way I wanted it to because there's just for some reason it did not want to pick up the light colors so it'd be like stark white and then the medium shade and the dark shade and the light shade just would not show up so I just kind of paused the video and zoomed in a little bit like here, here's the finished piece and thanks for watching I guess sorry for rambling